Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Dread Horde control. Um, I am, we're trying, first, uh, we're trying a couple of things to, to try to help out the lag on stream here. One thing is I'm, I put the settings here, so this is now in 1080p, which on my end, I had like the settings actually higher is like 1440 and like my monitor, I could see that. So it looks just a tiny bit blurry for me. Everybody in stream says it's the same because it's 1080p, so it's good for them. If you're watching it later on YouTube um, and it's a little worse, let me know. Um, but hopefully this helps out some stuff. Anyway, let's get to the deck. So we played Dreadhorde Control a few days ago. Uh, it was a donation deck that felt really good. I, I went 2-2 with it, though, because uh, I didn't play it partic particularly well. I made, like, a few s small mistakes, um, you know, here and there that kind of cost us our, our uh, cost us a couple of games. Um, but I've been working on the deck. I've been enjoying playing this one. And I've made some changes to it, and... Uh, you know, this is where I'm at right now. So before we had four ops in the deck, uh, so just kind of some things that changed. So we had four ops before, which I like the ops. Ops, not a bad card, but I kind of wanted to fit in some other things. And so we don't have the ops anymore. I have one extra land be because we don't have ops. So we have a 26 land in here uh, because of that. And um, we got a dress that we didn't have in here before. Um, and we have two Kefnets which I've just been so impressed with Kefnet in just like different decks and everything. And I just wanted two Kefnets in the main deck. And so that was like a spot where I found that I could kind of fit in some Kefnets. Um, so we got two Kefnets because they work so well with all of these instants and sorceries in the deck, and like especially Enter the God Eternals. And we have an extra Enter the God Eternals. We only had two before, so now we got a third one in here. Hey, Tobias Funk, thank you so much for that sub there. Welcome. Um, we had three Narsets before going, we're taking out one Narset, uh, to kind of help, to help with these things also. I, I, cause I, I think our, our main game plan is like the Kefnets and Enter the God Eternals more. And instead of three Ritual of Soots, I'm going two Soot and one Cry the Carnarium. You know, Cry just kind of lowers the curve a little bit. And if we have a larger Dreadhorde invasion, that will get swept up by a Ritual, but it won't necessarily get swept up by a Cry of the Carnarium. Um, but I still want those Sweepers in there. And we had three contempt before. Now we only have two, uh, also. So made it just kind of a, a few changes here and there. Uh, sideboard wise, um, got four thieves of sandies here in the sideboard. So against like control, nexus stuff like that, we got our four thieves, and I got a second on Mordigo also, uh, where we can bring those in. Um, I don't have a whole lot against aggro in our sideboard. We're hopefully okay against aggro with having these sweepers and the kefnets and the enter the god eternals and stuff like that in the main deck. And like the ability to have Dreadhorde Invasion gain lifelink. So we don't have a ton against aggro. Basically, against aggro, I'm probably just gonna be taking out, like putting in like Cry, Ritual, and Contempt, and take out like the two Narsets and the Duress. Like that's, that'll be like my main plan against aggro. Um, but we have like a lot of removal in here that maybe, maybe we don't want against uh, Control and, and uh, Nexus. And so that's what my sideboard is mostly for those matchups. Okay, so that's what we got. Uh, let's give it a try. Nope, no Ugin, four enchantments. Yeah, the, the Wincon is a giant Dreadhorde. Yep, that's why we're Dreadhorde Control. Um, also, Kefnet wins games as well. Uh, either one of those. But yeah, we'll be winning a lot of them with a giant Dreadhorde. All right, so we'll be heading over to the rank. We're still in Platinum uh, That as, as it just reset a couple days ago. Not quite out platinum yet, we're in platinum two. No, lots, <clears throat> I would not say that lots of decks can just chump block a huge creature forever. Especially when you have a bunch of removal in your deck. Um, it's usually not too hard to win with in a mass thing. Is this frozen right now, or is our opponent playing? What's going on? Okay, they're waiting on them. Okay. First try, first time using these new bola sleeves. All right, well we'll take the Escanta. This is gonna be tough to win here.
Yeah, J-Jack, I like this design. Yeah, I like your deck here. The bolus leaves. Alright, let me send a message here. I think something's wrong with our settings. Alright, Kefnet. Yep, Zephyrs. Sure did. Always reveal. Alright, so we may be just putting two counters on the blast zone here. Pass. Pass turn. Pass turn. Pass the turn. No. I was sending a message about the, the settings here in, in... I was just sending a message to Yager about the settings here. Because I think it feel it kind of feels like some like one of the things that we ch changed from yes to no is not good. S something feels off. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Um, we, we, like the bloom or the ambient occlusion. I don't know what either of those things are, but both of those used to be on and we turned them off. But it's something, it kind of feels Seek off. And find. Yeah, we changed the FPS to unlimited. Was that, is that the problem? Okay, so that that was the problem. Okay. We li limit that FPS. All right, so that was the thing. And that does feel better now that we did that. Yeah, it certainly feels better. All right, so this is, what, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the stream. We got a lot of cards to bring in in this matchup here. So this is 66. Get rid of these. That's 63. Too many cards? Who knows? Does that have a real win con? It depends if you if you if you count a, a callous dismissal as a real win con. I mean, Nexus of Fate is the win con. Take out two Dreadhorde invasions. We can definitely see that. Or should I take out the Kefnets? No, I want the Kefnets. So if we take out two Dreadhorde Invasion... 
I'm gonna just take out the commence the end games. They are, yeah, they do cost six mana. Actually, let's just take out those two, and take out one Dreadhorde invasion. Thing has reach? Are you kidding me? So much for Thieves Andy getting through. Hey, Nudge with the tier one sub. Welcome to the channel, Nudge. Thank you for the sub there. It says sub number seven on the day. Was I that far behind on this, on counting on stuff? I don't know. I guess MTG bot says seven. Blast Zone is not the card that we are wanting to... That is not the card at all that we were wanting to Field of Ruin. The focus and hone your prowess. That was a perfect hit. Wow, never mind. Not a perfect hit. Okay, a couple of people counted twice with it. That happens from time to time for sure. Yeah, I do want I do want lands. Put thoughtfulness before action. Wind con, but I can't get through. Grazer is so perfect against me. Grazer is so perfect. O three reach. Just absolutely perfect. Down goes Narset. We got a backup. I concede. Meditate and prepare. It's possible I should have taken the negate and had two negates available. Wow. 
I've got them all figured out. Doesn't it's do very much. Just the trick for this. Oh, not not on where to go. Whoops. Right, so they have two biogenic oozes, two tamios. Another crisis in hand. This. Cool. Get rid of that Ascanto. Yeah, we'll be we'll play some of the metagame challenge, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the bolus avatar and the bolus leaves. Absolutely. Shocking in there. It's kind of telling me they had a negate. Ah, reclamation. Yeah, Narset's great against them. Stopping these uh, Memorial to Geniuses from drawing multiple cards on their turn. They can draw, like, two cards on my turn. My Theo Sandy game plan isn't looking super strong. Against that stupid O3. Yeah, I guess I just don't do Thief, I guess. Hey, Glaive, thanks for the bleed purple bonus. Thank you so much, Glaive. Thanks for the cheers. So then I can just contempt, get the other invasion, and get double commence. So I'm going to do those. Man, that's that's tough. Yeah, it's, it's so... Gosh, that's so tough not having Thief of Sanity in the deck. That is just like, you know, maybe my best card. Like at times. Yeah, thanks, Clay. I'm not playing the Narset into the obvious counterspell here. 
Yeah, like they just have a hand of like counter spells. All right, dress. All right, so there's once so they have one sabotage. There's biogenic ooze. Gosh, this is a, just such a loaded hand. I think I take the reclamation. But then if I take Reclamation, they can just play Tamiyo and grab their Reclamation back. Um, it's a reason why their hand was loaded. So I played... I played Kefnet this turn. Kefnet and Ascanta work really well together. I think I want to have Contempt and Insight available instead of playing Narset. Oh, that is gross. Oh, gosh, why is Blast Zone a thing? That's gross. Oh yeah, I always reveal with Kefnet. Yeah, definitely reveal Swamp. That's awesome, Zydroth. Man, I wish I could got to see Young Giant live. That sounds really cool. What a card. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Well, good news is this has not seemed nearly as laggy since we changed it to 1080p here. And, uh, you know, went back to the FPS limit. This has seemed like it's been working pretty good. Has it been working pretty good for y'all? Hmm. You would make an excellent informant for my study. Yeah, that's awesome. I know I noted this somewhere.
I have learned all I can. Electro Domestico. Getting the gift stuff from Santa Gatsby. Thanks, Santa Gatsby. That's the perfect card to reveal. Man, that's such a great card to reveal. Kefnet doing its job. That's the card you always want to see off of Kefnet. Get that double thought erasure. Yes, please. All right. So we're going to take Sinister Sabotage and Biogenicus. Ooh. Nah, Biogenicus and... Definitely taking news. Beating a second Reclamation seems really tough. Might as well take the Sabotage so they don't Surveil and I do Surveil. Yes, keep that card please. Oh, I should have just played the Narset, duh, and then Minus, and then... Open mind. I should have done that and then <clears throat> and then played the second thought erasure to surveil this top card here. Yeah, Blast Zone will kill my Kefnet if we kill the Reclamations also. But yeah, Unmored Ego, gonna shut them down. Narset's gonna shut them down. There we go. Alright, we have a deck. Even without the Thief of Sanities, we just had a lot of tools against Wilderness Reclamation there. And without having any enchantment removal. I like it. I like it. Got to get more unmoored egos in this format. With all these, all these reclamation players. So many of them. <laughs> yeah. Denny Kron says, I like any deck that beats wilderness decks. And same here. <laughs> That's all I'm wanting to do these days is try to beat these wilderness decks because they're so good. These these Simic Nexus decks are so good. Tamio just added a bunch to their deck. And Blast Zone. Yeah, and the stream is like working and stuff. It's like not lagging every second. That's good, too. Okay. So, obviously, we're not taking Ritual Set. That doesn't do anything. Uh, unfortunately, there's two Thought Erasures here. The first Thought Erasure is kind of hurts us. The second one doesn't really hurt us too much. I'm going to take the Discovery to, like, keep them from digging too hard. Yeah, I'm trying to jinx myself with the, the whole stream thing. We drew the Narset one turn too early. I've been good to wait a turn to draw that Narset. Or now I wish I would have taken the Thought Erasure because then we would have been able to have Kefnet. You know, obviously it's hindsight, but. Whoa, Kefnet's good? Kefnet's good? Whoa.
attack. Whew, graveyard. Good job, Ascanta. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have kept that. I could have, like, cast it twice. Nah. I can find better things. I guess we'll play that island that we revealed. Ugh. Right row. Maybe we should just... No, I can't really leave that graveyard. I can't let them have Kefnet. But if we flip this... Let me get this Kefnet back. There we go. Uh, yeah. I'd like to reveal that card. Thank you. Um, and you mill or I mill? I guess I mill. Yeah, that's why. So they're going to get a third chapter here of Nicol Bolas. Which is just going to make me discard. I guess I can activate as Kanta first. Or I could Chemister's Insight. I could just enter the God Eternals like one of my own things and make that thing even bigger. But I think just waiting to kill this Bolas is going to be better. So we'll just activate his Kanta. Hopefully find anything to discard. Because I want it, I want to save it for their four four. Okay, they're grabbing the Narset. Interesting. Looking for something for Kefnet. I know eighty eight ways to defeat. Hone your prowess. And so obviously I'm not doing the insight. I'll just activate Escanta. Kefnet with the win. Really glad opponent didn't take the Kefnet. All right, let's bring in uh, these things, that thing, uh, those and those. I don't know if I actually want all those things. So like we, the cards that we need to be the most worried about are Thief and Bolus on the other side, right? So I probably shouldn't, like, cut all these Tyrant Scorns because of Thief of Sanity. What is the best control deck right now? Uh, it's likely some kind, some version of Esper. I just don't, I don't play very much Esper. I've, I really like this deck that we're playing right now, though. I like this one quite a bit. Let's trim one Enter the God Eternals, but I kind of want to keep the other two to kill Bolas's. And thieves, but it costs five mana. Hmm. Five's a lot. Let's take out duress. Negate and sabotage is good enough. I'm gonna go two scorn. Hmm. One of these, and two negate. Yeah, Esper Legends went pretty good yesterday. Yeah. Um, 
Somebody said afterwards that they were, they've been playing it and they replaced the old Dovin with the new Dovin. And I kind of like that replacement there. This Narset looks really cool with the uh, 3D art. This Thief is like our one card that's not 3D in both of these hands. Oh, Azkanta is a really good card to play on turn two. Hopefully they don't have to turn three Thief though, because it doesn't stop turn three Thief. Well, there goes the Azkanta. Uh, no, Pakla. Do not. Haha. <laughs> Never fails. Thought Erasure Bug. Tilt. No land. Honestly, if we hit the land, it may be better just to hold up Sabotage there instead of play Narset. No, with us having the Contempt, no, I would have played Narset. What does the card sleeve do? Bzz. We need to power it up. We need to land here. Come on, card sleeve, get us a land. There we go. See, sometimes you just got to power up your lands. Or power up your card sleeve, sorry. There are so much thoughtfulness before action. That card's good. Looks like a frog with horns. His eyes light up. Meditate and prepare. Yeah, 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 get out of here, Kefnet. Hopefully, we find another land next turn where we can go Thought Erasure plus Sabotage. Go ahead, activate your Escanta. Go ahead. I dare ya. I dare ya, watermelon. Activate your Ascanta. I just have one card in hand. I'm not going to Thought Erasure. I'll just get this Kefnet out. So we have Kefnet first before they do. Oh, uh, they did not activate us, Kanta. Cowards. Wow, they didn't even reveal. Always reveal. Always reveal. No, Narset does not do anything against us, Kanta. Reveal, absolutely.
Absolutely reveal. I should feel the rune first. Yeah, I, I should just feel the rune first. And then, because then they activate as Kanta, and then I. And then I thought Erasure. That's just bad sequencing on my part. Revealing is good luck. Why do I reveal lands? Because it's good luck. Always reveal. Eee. What is that thing? Nicol Bolas Dragon God. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that one bit. There you go. Nice. Opponents in the reveal stage now. <laughs> Alright, so they don't draw a card, so I just have to get rid of something, though. Uh, we'll get rid of this island in our hand. Your defiance is infuriate. I outsmarted you eons ago. Eons ago. Uh, I guess I'm not supposed to reveal that one. Uh, man, I, I can't not reveal it. Oh man, this is tough. I, I was saying I was going to reveal everything, and then we have this one. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. Alright. Always reveal. I said I was going to. No. Bounce that. <laughs> Another time. Yeah, I'm, I'm hot committed. We're revealing. <laughs> hey, Pink Monkey Man, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Pink Monkey Man. What does revealing do? It lets our opponent know what cards we're drawing. That's what it does. Hmm. That wouldn't do very much. Let's take this ritual set out here. Ugh, there's a bolus also? Alright, well I guess I'm taking bolus. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, the lag lag happened whenever I went over to No I guess, I guess we'll have to negate that. Now the ritual set's gonna kill my thing. Uh, lag happened whenever I went over here and put a bunch of hype boats in the channel for our new sub, then some lag happened. Uh, return that creature. Hooray! Dreadhorde control, 2-0! A big reason why we won that is because we were only just two colors, we get to play Field of Ruin, and you notice how like us Field of Ruining the Ascanta was really important there. I love Field of Ruin in this metagame right now because there are so many Ascantas around. So that's that's one thing that I really love about playing blue black here. Not only are we just like not taking damage from our mana base like we do with Grixis sometimes, um, and we're not messing up our colors nearly as much as you do with uh, Grixis. But then we have, like, we get to play Field of Ruin and Blast Zone. I did win because I revealed all the cards. My opponent did not reveal all the cards. They did not win. Just saying.
Uh, Grixis does not struggle against Esper, no. That is... Grixis is supposed to be favored against Esper. Supposed to be. Well... Kill that. Kefnet's definitely the best god for control in the set. I mean, it's, it is, and, and yeah, it is. I mean, it does, you know, costing four instead of five is a really big difference. Kefnet has been awesome for us. Really glad we have two of these in the main deck. Card's awesome. Grixis does not want to see Gruul. Grixis, Grixis doesn't really like mono white either. Oh, sorry, mono. Well, mono red. Sorry, mono red. And gates from the last format was tough for them as well. All right, well, play another one. All right, what are we? What are we revealing this time? Yeah, J-Jack Jr. donated for this deck like the other day. I've, I really liked it too, and so I've been uh, playing it off stream, kind of tuning it up, and this is where I'm at with it here, and liking it quite a bit. All right, so we'll take out the Growth Chamber Guardian and the Spellbreaker, and I'll move this Kefnet over here. I don't know if y'all know what's about to happen here, but it's going to be really good for us. I don't know if y'all realize what's going to happen here. Revealing, revealing commence the end game to Kefnet means it only costs four mana. So then we'll, so then we'll draw two, and then we'll we'll have four cards in hand. So we'll put four counters on this zombie, and plus the other one will be a nine nine, and we get to attack for nine life link. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be too epic for the opponent. Opponent couldn't handle it. Too epic. So I got a Cry, a Ritual of Soot, and a Contempt, and I'm taking out the two Narsets and the Duress. So that's my sideboard plan. We'll see how it works. I know, none of it happened. Didn't happen. I don't like Tamiyo's Epiphany. Um... Instant speed is just so important, like when you have counter spells and just everything else, like being able to cast Chemistry's Insight as an instant is just vital. You gotta, you gotta play it over Tamiya's Epiphany. If you need a control deck, Polka, this is a good control deck for you. Is there a deck list? Yeah, somebody just put it up above you with the exclamation point deck. I can do that again here. That pops up. There you go. Hey, there you go. You got a job recently. That's awesome. Yeah, we've been we've been brewing up some sweet ones uh, here recently. Really like the Gruel Midrange deck. Like all three of these here: Dr Dreadhorde Control, Gruel Midrange, Abzan Citadel. All of them look pretty strong. We did some really nutty stuff with the Abzan Citadel deck the last time we played it. Of course, you can always see all the replays on the YouTube channel. I have I have a playlist on the YouTube channel for like the competitive ranked decks that I put over you know in that playlist if you want to like follow the playlist kind of thing
Oh, Yud, is the Mardu control one done? I never looked. Kefnet has been so good in this deck. Oh, I never told you the two images. Um, that's rude. It's still rude. Uh, what were like the two standout cards from Mardu Control that last league that we should put on the YouTube thumbnail? How's Demir on the higher levels? I don't... I mean, I... They just reset, so, you know, we're not Mythic anymore because they just reset, like, two days ago where everybody goes back to Platinum. So we're working our way back up. Just like everybody else is right now. Ugh. Sir Bizquick with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Thanks, Sir Bizquick. Um, let's get this out there. That's sub number 10 on the day. That's a sub goal. We'll crack open a pack after this. Angrath and Othakaya. Reveal. That didn't do anything. Ow. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Angrath and Othakaya. No, I really wanted to have that for the Phoenix, but just trying to keep this. Uh. All right. I can I can like not cast it, right? Copy that card and you may cast the copy. Okay, so I don't actually want to cast it. So reveal Decline. Okay. Why counter that? Because I was planning on like casting these other things and doing other stuff and even though the thing's like a three two, it's still like, you know, is dealing damage to me and being annoying. As like the Cinder Vines is too. Get out of here. See people playing Finale of Eternity times three in the sideboard. Ow. If I wait till after combat, like they get they get to Whoa, they just don't block. That's a bold strategy. But I 
So why did I commence first? Because I wanted the 3-3 three, because three, I was going to be attacking. Even if we didn't find something, I was probably going to be attacking with them. And if they block the 3-3, three, three, they take 4 and... I don't know. I said... <laughs> Please stop clicking reveal. Do you know how Yeah, always click reveal. Look at how much like we're winning all of these because we're clicking reveal every time. Reveal it yeah, always reveal. If you stop if you stop always revealing, you're gonna lose. Our opponent didn't reveal. Like that previous one, they had Kefnet, they didn't reveal, they lost. Gotta reveal. You're not winning if you don't reveal. Always click reveal. Yeah. Let's pair that bad boy with this Dreadhorde invasion. Jeez. Can I get rid of that? Alright, never mind. I don't want this Enter the God Eternals anymore. Double Mortify? Ugh. Opponent's so rude. Double Mortify. See, if this was, like, London Mulligan, we would have just ditched the Enter the God Eternals. We're at least going to make a token before the Dreadhorde Invasion gets um, mortified. So I'm leading with it. If I played Kefnet in paper, oh, I wouldn't even look at the card. Just blind flip him over, see what we got. Oh, wow. That could not be a worse draw. We do not have a worse card in our deck to draw than that. That was the worst out of the 53 cards that we could possibly draw. All right, getting really punished for keeping the Enter the God Eternals. I thought the Escanta was going to help us hit land drops. Yuck. Okay, we're getting there. So it does target two things. Why did I mill myself for? Because we have chemistry inside in our deck. Uh, so that's why we mill ourselves. So, see if we hit a chemistry inside. this one out. I've got time. We didn't reveal anything that came, and we got crushed. Let's take these cards out. All right, nine cards. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. All right, 62. What other two are coming out here? Hmm. I like all of these. Got to take two out, though. One Dreadhorde Invasion. And one Thief. Those are kind of like really good cards for us, though.
But I guess there's nothing that's worse than these. I do want the Contempt. I, I want all the Thieves. I'll just take out two Dreadhorde Invasion. Splash red just for Dragon God. Wouldn't really be able to play Field of Ruin, which I really like Field of Ruin. Yeah, it's kind of like we have too many sideboard cards for the matchup, but there's not other matchups I'm really scared of. So now we can't protect our thief. Pass. Pass. Pass turn. Pass turn. No lands. Pass turn. Nope. Don't want to play any of those lands. Just pass the turn. Scoop it up. Got a thief. Dang it. Ooh, drew in another thief. We're drawing hot. It's unfortunate for us. They're going to let me hit? There's no way they let you hit, right? Absolutely, I've danced it all as potential and standard. Absolutely. Yeah, we've played it that one time. We did so much crazy stuff with that deck. They might let us hit here. They're thinking about it. Pass back. Island. The biggest of tilts. Yeah, you can find the Abzan list and on my Stream Decker page. You can do X you know streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Put up there earlier today. But you know we We've played it before on for the YouTube channel. You can find it on there too. But I made made some changes going into t today with it. Do anything ever. Never gonna do anything.
Right on schedule. You know what? I'm not done yet. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Which one's Eternity, Pakla? Is that the blue one? I do not believe the blue Eternity is a thing. The black one. That one may be a thing. I could be convinced that thing that's a thing for the sideboard. Possibility that's a thing. I am not. We need to move quickly. Yeah, that's right. The green one is Devastation. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why the green one is Devastation. Like, green... Green shouldn't have Devastation. That just, that's not a green card, right? Like, it's Devastation. Doesn't sound like a green card, at least. No time for a break. I was hoping to draw something, you know, save the duress to be able to play duress plus the other thing. Giving them more time to, you know, because they're going to be drawing more cards and give them time to find that counter spell. Um, GS Sharp, or G Sharp. There we go, G Sharp with the sub. Thank you so much, G Sharp. Welcome to the channel. All right, getting this ready. All right, one more match with Dreadhorde Control. So we got to get to our other decks too. Playing five with our decks. Things did not go our way that that time. Especially that game one mulligan was rough, and then how we just only had the one blue source and couldn't cast any of our spells there that second game until they all got discarded or wait till our opponent had counter magic. And big slider as well. It's big slider. Ooh, this whole cry of the Carnarium Ritual of Set Hand looking kind of good here. Just 12 subs on the day. Let's get that Luxodon out of here. Black Source. Wow, things really do go well for you sometimes. It is good to see you, my friend. See in yourself what I see in you. Oh, good call. Yeah, this is final boss. Those who cannot perceive beyond the veil of reality. I have just the trick for this. Uh. 
Yeah, this is my last match with the deck. You are capable. We gotta find something to deal with this ink, this Johnny over here. Keep an open mind. That'll help. I mean, I guess I could just contempt it though. Yeah, I'll just contempt this thing. I was not strong enough. Okay. Ugh. So, cry, ritual, contempt. Narset, Narset, duress. I could definitely see still having like some duress or negate in. Uh, maybe over the the six mana draw card effect that makes a creature to block. That thing commence the end game. <clears throat> they have a whole lot of spells in their deck, especially after sideboarding. Like they're they're gonna have Dovin's vetoes. <laughs> Thanks for cursive chat. A Mord Ego is a whole lot better. Like, I then Spyglass for what I want. I, I want something to deal with um, to deal with Nexus of Fate, and that's what it does. Spyglass is like a card if you want to, for something for like Teferi, for example. I walk a righteous path. Gideona? That's messy. Your light Gideon's will clean the here. darkness. Contempt. Okay. That'll slow him down at least. basically all we're trying to do let me lead the charge into darkness prepare for battle yeah it's a bolus avatar Alright, I think I made a mistake of my timing on that Tyrant Scorn. I was like thinking upkeep, trying to make it so like they won't. You know, so that, like less chance that they have a. Um, a Doman's Veto. I should have let them just go to combat. Like they probably play that Benelish Marshal and then I bounce the Black Blade so then they don't get to play again until the next turn. Yeah, it's bad. Wrong timing there. All right, lesson learned. What what day do you want me to play it, Morgan? I'll play the deck for you. Hey, what's up, kitties?
Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there. Hmm. The reason why I like uh, Commence the End Game is because it can help grow this Dread Horde invasion, which, you know, we really want to get that thing to lifelink. Like, what if I didn't play Dread Horde Invasion or Commence? And I just play Duress and Negate. Can I win? Like, we are basically only have five win cons with, like, the two Kefnets and Eternal. Enter the God Eternals. Play Thief. Instead of negate. Play some Thief Sandy on the play here. Draw some lands. Definitely like Cry of the Carnarium Rituals to, to enter the God Eternals. Like, you know, like these cards are like my heavy hitters. Gotta draw some lands. That's all we're missing. We got 26 lands in the deck for a reason. Of, yeah. There we go. Charge it up. Let's get those lands. Charge it up. Draw the lands. Close enough. Close enough. Um, all right, get you a little one one. I guess I just scorn that and keep sabotage. Enter the God Eternals. Mm. Gideon Jura, at your service. I believe in you. Wrong time to draw that. Yeah, I knew Dovin's veto was going to be good, but yeah, Tyrant Scorn definitely been I will lend you my a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Curse the darkness! Alright, don't draw anything too good. That's kind of good. Oh, we got the Cry of the Carnarium. All right, we're good. All right. Now we got Sabotage back up.
Morgan with that sub again. Thank you so much. I guess if you said the day, I missed it. Sorry about that. All right, so Dreadhorde Control did really good for us. Got us to, you know, went 4-1 four, four, with the deck. There in Platinum, set, puts us up on the doorstep of leveling up to the thing that's after Platinum. Hey, Necrolepsy, welcome to the channel. Do y'all notice the, the sub notification sound being softer today? I lowered it. It was at 24% volume before, and I lowered it to 16% volume. And so I don't know if y'all noticed it, a change in it. Uh, yesterday with the YouTube videos, people were complaining they were too loud. And so hopefully that's better. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Diamond. Yeah, lag issues has gotten better. We changed it to 1080p here instead of 1440. I was playing it in 1440. I'm playing it in 1080p right now. Um, and it has helped for sure. And I also, um, we also turned off bloom and off ambient occlusion, whatever those are. Those are now off. And that's kind of helped whatever that is. Maybe that's helped. Maybe it hasn't. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice. Somebody else subscribed so we can check. Yeah, good call. Yeah, maybe we need somebody else to, to uh, subscribe to check. But yeah, this tech felt awesome. You know, like we, we lost, sure, we lost it to Esper where we, um, you know, like a, just like one of those things, like we just, uh, like the game one, we mulligan, keep like some removal, you know, don't hit our fourth land drop. Jay Rockefeller, there you go, hitting that Twitch Prime sub. What do y'all think? Is that is that good? Do I need to make it lower still? Thanks, Jay Rockefeller. Um, and then the second game, we had our double blues with like Sabotage, Narset, and Kefnet, and we had Swamp Swamp, uh, Colorless Land, Island, and couldn't cast them. And so that was a bummer. Um, but besides that, it felt awesome. Uh, we did really good against a... Nexus opponent, so that felt pretty good. Uh, this card has just ridiculously cool art, so that's a plus. Um, yeah, I like the deck. Let's crack a pack. Good call. Yeah, we got to. We haven't cracked a pack today, and we got to over ten subs. Let's crack a pack. In fact, that league was cool. Let's crack another one. Cracking two packs, going crazy. Pack time. Tomeek. Where's our mythics at? Need more mythics. Mythic. Mythic. Bleh. Not a mythic. I'll exchange that for a mythic, please. <laughs> All right. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoy Dreadhorde Control. If you're looking for a control deck that's not boring old Esper, give this one a try. I definitely liked how this felt. Um, there's nothing in the deck that I necessarily want to change for the next time. Everything felt pretty good, as is for now. Kefnet was just awesome for us. Man, this card was so good. This is like our best card in the deck. There. Really good card. All right. Uh, there we go. Thanks for watching.